uh, let's create a unit circle and talk about the value of a unit circle. So here, the, the reason it's called a unit circle, by the way, is because this distance is one right here. This distance is one. This distance is negative one. This distance is negative one. This is positive one. It's a unit because it's one unit. The radius is one unit. Every one of these radii right here is one unit. And you're, you're going to see why that's so important in a little bit. But the first thing to do is to take this and to draw in all of your um, nice numbers. So let's first, first of all, I know that this right here is pi radians, which means this up here is half of pi radians, and which means this right here, down here, the measure, and again, this measure is, we're talking just about the degree measure, whoops, pi over 3 pi over 2 radians, because going this direction, this is half of pi, this is one full pi, this is one and a half pi, and then this is two pi. And you can keep going around like that as much as you want. And then we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to do it for, I'm going to put in red lines. I'm going to cut this in half once again. So there's that, and there's that. So those red lines, now, now what have I broken this unit circle up into? Not halves now, but fourths, right? So this is one-fourth of pi. This is two-fourths of pi, which is the same as one-half. This is three-fourths of pi. This is four-fourths of pi, which is the same as one. This is five-fourths of pi. This is six-fourths, which is the same as three-halves. This is seven-fourths pi. And this is 8 fourths pi, which is the same as 2. And you can keep going around and around and around. Now I'm going to break the circle up, up to green this time, into, instead of fourths, I'm going to break it up into sixths. So I'm going to draw one there. I'm going to draw one here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So all of those green lines now are, instead of fourths, those green lines are sixths. Let me erase all this other stuff so it's easier to see. Alright, so let's do the green now. This is one-sixth of pi. This is 2 sixths of pi, which I'm going to reduce it right as I say it. 2 sixths is the same as 1 third. This is 3 sixths of pi up here, which is the same as 1 half, which we already knew about. 1 half pi. This is 4 sixths. I'm reducing it. 2 thirds. This is 5 sixths of pi. This is 6 sixths of pi, which is just 1 pi. This is 7 sixths pi. This is 8 sixths pi. Whoops. I'm reducing 8 sixths as I say it to 4 thirds. This is 9 sixths of pi. I'm reducing it. This is 10 sixths of pi. I'm reducing it. That all makes sense now. This is 11 sixths of pi. It's because it was all reduced. I was getting screwed up all the different numbers. Yeah, that's why they're reduced. So, again, let's, look, let's, draw in the, let's write in our numbers now. This is pi over 4. This is 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4. 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. See how easy it is to just count by either fourths or sixths or halves. The yeah. easiest way to do it. Right. And so there, there are all your radian measures. Now if you're going to do degree measures, the degree measures are, you know, this is just 30 degree, I'm oh, sorry, this is just 45 degrees, so just keep adding 45. 45 plus 45 is 90. 90 plus 45 is uh, 135. 135 plus 45 is 180. 180 plus 45 is 225. 225 plus 45 is 270. 270 plus, plus 45 is 315. 315 plus 45 is 360. And then do the same thing with now pi over 6 is equal to 30 degrees because it's 1 sixth of pi. 1 sixth of 180 is 30. 
So add 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240. I'm adding 30 every time. 270, 300, 330, 360. Okay, uh, that all makes sense. That's how you look at a unit circle from the standpoint of degrees and radians. So on a test, just draw your unit circle out first if you want to make it easier so that you have kind of a quick reference for all your nice angles. That's what I would suggest.